Let's do it. All right. First one is about Roblox. Roblox is adding rare resellable, resellable I'm going to say resellable uh, digital items. <laughs> uh, but but there, that's my word. <laughs> Is that like salvaged and sellable? I think it's I think it's resellable digital, really. <laughs> Resellable. Oh, like digital, but different. <laughs> there you go. Uh, but they are not NFTs. Um, so not. Roblox dominant online gaming platform recently rolled out a new class of wearable virtual goods that could be sold in limited quantities by third-party creators per a recent company announcement. They're called limiteds. Uh, can also be resold by Roblox users at any price of their choosing. A 10% cut of each secondary sale going to the original creator. So there's definitely some echoes here. Um, it kind of reminds me of this rumor. Uh, I don't even know if it's a rumor. Maybe it's a fact about the government creating some sort of uh, digital transactional element that's going to be very fast and and sort of compete with the uh, some di some incipient digital currencies and things like that. But yeah, I mean, um, these brands that have a proprietary proprietary history um, that's working have very little incentive to uh, move out of it. I think that's kind of what this is a comment on. I yeah, maybe. I I, I think it's fascinating from a from a discovery perspective on on what happens and. What what does a a big brand doing sort of NFT like activities without NFTs impact um, the overall NFT market and other brands? Like I'm I'm super curious what happens here. Clearly, they they wanted to sort of um, take a step towards um, supporting the concept of of digital collections, digital wearables and whatnot. I mean, it's a common, it's been commonplace in gameplay for, for decades, right? That's, it's one of the early Genesis um, happens here, but, but the royalty component that that's definitely like a, a new thing here, the ability for users to pick their price, um, you know, and, and not be, it sounds like it's based on us dollars, not based on sort of, um, you know, uh, an in-game currency. It's based on like real currency. So I think there's some interesting elements of what they're doing here. What do you think, Maya? I think it's a really, I mean, for Roblox, it's a really great experimentation. It's not, it's very authentic to what they do already, right? Like they allow the creation of um, gameplay by decentralized users Anyway, right? So to me, it, it, there's a continuation of what they're authentic of what they've already done and how they interact with their user base already, um, which I love. And then to your point, it's like a nod to to NFT culture without it being actual NFTs, which is what I was talking about earlier. This sense of how do you take Web three ethos or NFT ethos and bring it into something more traditional, and how does that change that? And and all of these things are are natural and organic in their space. And I think I think it's great because I think as you train that ethos, whether it ends up on the blockchain or not, ultimately your chain. This is actually the thing I think that is the big transition. This radical evolution is how we think about things, and they're going to be doing it at scale with with young people. Yeah, and that ultimately will change everything. It, it will indeed, and um, it wasn't in the article, but worth mentioning as I'm um, as I'm clicking on the announcement that that we uh, we have that the creator gets thirty percent, the seller or distributor gets forty percent, and the platform gets thirty percent of the first cut, and then the creator gets an additional ten percent royalty thereafter. So they really thought about this, like like this is probably like a giant committee sort of thing with a lot of background research and sort of algorithms and 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 sort of modeling that went into this. So it's it's going to be a really interesting experiment. Um with and such kudos a to them for maintaining for net at this point in time. They're making that announcement after people are backing off of creator royalties. So kudos to them for keeping them at this moment in time. Kudos to them. GM GM Roblox. <laughs> That's right. Should we hit the next one folks? I can Let's do it. By GMs, right. like no GMs, one GM and two GMs. I like it. I'm going. <laughs> um, all right. Next one: Mastercard dropping free music pass NFTs with perks for holders. 
payment processing firm, MasterCard, debuted a free Music Pass NFT drop this weekend. Probably will be a week ago on the airing of this podcast um, um, amid the annual NFT NYC conference offering collectors a number of benefits ahead of holding the token digital collectible is part of the MasterCard artist accelerator program launched in January uh, well first comment on this is just uh, interesting to see uh, MasterCard you know diving into the space and doing continuing to do interesting things there um, it's an interesting point in Web3 and, and NFTs and blockchain. You know, we've seen uh, uh, a near doubling of, of like Bitcoin and Ethereum over the past several months. Um, it's kind of slowly but surely creeping up on us. And, and these neat. big brands and big players really just um, continuing to dive in and do interesting things. So I need to disclose we have a partnership with MasterCard. I think very high. You know, we're doing um, we, Miami with MasterCard. The, the city of Miami with the city of Miami and MasterCard and Salesforce. So um, big fans of, of their efforts in the space. And, uh, and again, you know, and it again, tying authentically to what they support music being one of those pillars that they've supported. Um, and then Sebastian Otto at the positive, you know, also a big fan of him and his work when he was at Vayner and now at MasterCard. So I'm really intrigued to see what, what, what they do with this. And yeah. also as we spent a lot of time thinking about this in our world, but uh the 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 tie-ins to membership and rewards, uh, of course, credit cards are at the, the the tip of the spear when it comes to that. And um I'm curious to see where that leads, if it does lead to more NFT uh, based rewards, uh membership rewards and other kinds of uh of uh, benefits to card members it's just such a great format i think for that reward system um but so far it hasn't really been utilized heavily by the biggest uh, players in the credit card world there's there's a lot of interesting things about this project i mean one um in may they're launching an ai studio that you can create your very own music tracks using an online ai studio um you've got other names involved besides time like warp sound and, and polygon um in this particular project um yeah. Latasha, you know, who who is just a powerhouse in the space. Um, Brian Trunzo at Polygon. So um kudos for MasterCard for 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 going deep down the rabbit hole and, and trying to do something really authentic and really cool. Agreed. Two GMs. <laughs> double uh, double. Yeah. By the way, these can be minted for free until the end of April. Uh drop is play taking place on Polygon um ethereum scaling network that has been also been used by starbucks nike reddit and various other web3 initiatives so hop on over there and uh claim it why not get in check it out 